All right, so between the last video and this video, I went and I wrote a 6502 assembler um, just in C-sharp because I wanted to better understand the 6502 assembly language. So um, <clears throat> some of the syntax here is going to be a little different. Like in the last video, we used uh, explanation point like byte here. Um, but I'm using DCB because uh, I saw that in some tutorials online when I was learning 6502 assembler. Um, so I, I, I elected to use that instead of the, the byte thing. Uh, the assembler is very simple. <clears throat> Basically, you can copy source code from any of the tutorials on 6502, paste it in, it'll work. So that's all I wanted. So what I set out to do was learn how to do a little bit of the rendering stuff inside of the um, Commander 16 in this case. I did a... I saw that David Murray was showing how to do these v-pokes, and I'll show you real quick just in case you missed the video. But basically you can do v-poke uh, 0, 0, 0,2, and that'll put a b in the top left corner, and then you can do a v-poke 0, 1, comma, like 8, and that'll turn it orange. I saw him do that, and I thought, well, if you could v-poke to it, then obviously you could do some assembly to it. So I read all the documentation, mulled over all the like the various stuff and the the addressing and a lot of source code and I, I figured out how to set this up. So we're gonna in this example, in this hello world example, we're gonna do this exact thing, VPOG002, VPOG018. Um so the first thing that we need to do is we need to set the low byte to zero and the high byte to zero. So this is basically the address that you're writing to, the top left corner. If you look at the documentation on the Vera chip, you'll notice that uh, this is the address line. So we're just going to the zero, 00 address, top left corner. The next thing we want to do is we want to load 2 into A, which is this 2 here. Now this 2 is the uh, B, and we're going to put that on the data line. So 9F23, if you look at the Vera documentation, is the data line. So we're just pushing it to the data line to write it to the screen. Next, we're going to set the color to orange. So the you'll notice that the <clears throat> second argument here is uh, going to the low byte because we're going to the next byte over. So we're effectively on the top left corner of the screen. The next byte over is going to be the color. We're setting it uh, that as um, this, you can think of this as like the byte offset. So we're moving over one, and then we're setting the color to eight on the data bus again. So we're 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 sending. Uh, 8 for orange across the, the, the data line. So let's, uh, I'm just going to compile this in my, or assemble this on my assembler here. And that's going to generate a PRG file, which I can overwrite the one I have inside of my folder. And then I'll run the emulator. So I'm going to do monitor just because I want to keep this screen up so it doesn't erase itself after it finishes. So I'm going to do <coughs> load hello world.prg and then I'm going to run it. And you'll notice that the top left corner now has an orange B. So effectively we did those two V pokes here. So we're going to do something a little more complicated and we're going to make five green hearts go across the top. So I have here a hearts assembly file, the same header as before. And you'll notice that I set up all the things that aren't changing. Since we're only drawing five hearts, we can do all of this in the uh, first address page there, the first 255 bytes, so we don't need to go to the next one. So we're just going to set up the same way, select VRAM, select bank 0, stride 2. We're going to load in 0 into the high byte of the, uh, of the video address, because that's not going to change. We're going to set up a, a simple loop counter. Of course, you could do this a better way, but this is for understanding sake and readability. So we're going to set up a loop counter, and then we're going to set our address offset to uh, Y. Set our label for our loop. We're going to transfer the value of Y to A, which is 0, and we're going to store that into address uh, 9F20, which is the low byte for the video. Um, then we're going to load in 53, so uh, $1.53, I just looked it up on, on a Petski table, it's like in the bottom left corner of the box. So if you look here for the heart, there's a 0053 here, that's where I got that from. So that's what we're going to be using for the heart character. We're going to put that on the data line so it writes a heart. And then we're going to increment Y, because remember the 0 is the character and the next one over is the color. So we're going to go to the next one over. We're going to transfer Y to A. So now A is 1. 
and we're going to store that into the low byte address. After that, we set it to green, which is 5, and then we write that to the data bus. Then we increment our x, increment our y, compare to 5. So we're drawing 5 hearts, and then we loop. So we're going to assemble this program uh, together. I'm just going to use the assembler I wrote. So it, here it is. It's called hearts. And that will create our program file, which we then need to drop into the emulator. And let's run it. So I'm going to do the monitor again so that I can uh, keep, keep this in view and it doesn't clear the screen. I'm going to load um, hearts.prg then run that and you'll notice five hearts that are green pop up in the top left corner. So hopefully that helps you get started to know how to put these things on screen and go in deeper into how to make the uh, graphic stuff work inside of this. I know I'm going to take this a little bit further on the next one. Um, if I if I figure out anything simple enough to show, I'll go ahead and show that. But if you have any questions, let me know. I learned a lot writing a assembler for the 6502. That's up on GitHub if you want to look at it. I'll have a link to to the page where I describe writing it uh, in the description if if you care. Otherwise, there's tons of assemblers out there that have a lot of macros and stuff that you should use, like uh, TASS or or uh, uh, Acme or whatever. So uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you around.